Hello and welcome to Pursuit a Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis, I'm an audio reviewer and this is my video coverage for the Munich High End Show 2019. I'd like to thank my show coverage sponsors. Melco, GIK Acoustics, Telerium Q. I have created lots of videos as part of a coverage for the high end show and you'll find other videos like this in my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and I'll be seeing you all soon. My name is Raphael Pash. Uh, I'm an electronics engineer at CH Precision. Uh, CH Precision is a Swiss brand. Uh, we are celebrating this year uh, our 10 years anniversary uh, here at the Munich show. Uh, I'm delighted to be in the Wilson Banesh room. Um, so it's a big system that we're showing here. Uh, what we wanted to show is uh, the reference flagship system uh, uh, both from Wilson Banesh and from CH Precision. So this here is how far you can push it. So starting with the turntable, this is the turntable that Wilson Benesh uh, brought 30 years ago. They were delighted to bring it again to, to show because it's also their 30th uh, anniversary. And then from here, we have a m total mono system. So the CH Precision boxes can be stereo, but then can be unfolded into mono. So on the left and the right here, you've got the two channels, left and right, with the photo stage and the line stage. And here are external power supplies that you can use to power the, um, uh, the phone stage and the line stage to refine the, the system. Then on the right hand side is the digital section, starting with the, the D1, the D1 which is the uh, CD and SA CD player, and then the C1, the C1 being used as a mono version here, so you have the digital processing side and then the right channel of um, conversion and the left channel of conversion. Right at the bottom, the T1, the T1 being the external clock, it's a 10 megahertz um, external clock, and that powers, supplies the clock, clean clock to the C1 and the D1. And finally on the right is more X1 uh, optional power supplies, this time used to refine the system of the converter and the drive. If we follow the cables all the way to the front, we reach monoblocks, monoblocks called the M1.1. These are here configured uh, by amping to buy amp the Wilson Benesh uh, eminence speakers. Uh, you can set the ratio of the global and the local feedback. And this allows you to tune your amplifier to the connected loudspeakers. So CH Precision is absolutely delighted to be, to be here working with uh, Wilson Benesh. And uh, we had a great show. Uh, I hope that everybody who came here could enjoy the sound. People here have all got a big smile on their face, so can't, can't be happier. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah. OK, uh, welcome to our room here. Uh, thank you, uh, Raphael Pash from CH Precision. Uh, my name is Luke Mills. Uh, I am a uh, sales and marketing uh, manager for Wilson Banesh, uh, British loudspeaker manufacturer. Um, and we are presenting our flagship reference loudspeakers this weekend uh, here in Munich, uh, which is the Eminence loudspeaker. Um, we are, the brand is synonymous with uh, advanced material technology design. So uh, principally we use carbon fiber um, within our loudspeaker cabinets. Um, and this has been the uh, initial direction of the company with our first design from 30 years ago and it has set the course for uh, all of the evolution of our product since. Um, so uh, within our loudspeaker here we're using uh, complex uh, organic forms which allow the speaker to essentially disappear within the listening environment so that when you're listening to the speaker, it gives the uh, impression that you are listening to the, the, the artist as though they were in the room before you uh, performing. Uh, we design and manufacture all of our own drive technologies also, uh, from the mid-range through to the base and also the isobaric drive units, which is a, um, a less commonly used um, configuration or topology of drive unit technology within the industry. Uh, essentially two drive units, one on the inside, one on the outside in what we call the clamshell formation, 
and uh, they work in a push-pull um, uh, fashion, uh, essentially dividing the load of uh, one big large woofer uh, into one smaller drive unit, uh, which is much more dynamic and uh, therefore better integrated with the mid-range drive units. Uh, we also design and manufacture our own tweeter. This is the uh, um, Fibonacci tweeter. It features a, a composite um, additively manufactured component, which we are um, manufacturing in-house on our own um, systems. And at the heart of this is a, uh, a hybrid dome technology. So we're using a silk dome with a carbon fiber cross brace across the middle, which allows the tweeter to continue to extend up to 30 kilohertz without any collapse within the structural integrity of the uh, the dome, so you will, it allows you to get wide bandwidth sound from what is essentially similar to a soft dome technology in terms of the uh, sound. And when I say that, what I mean is you do not get any kind of sibilant uh, character to the uh, the sound presentation. So it is very nice to listen to, and uh, there is no fatigue over long periods of listening. Um, and the uh, other thing that I will touch upon is uh, we are using. Uh, two uh, Taurus infrasonic generators. Uh, essentially belongs within the subwoofer category, but we call it an infrasonic generator. Uh, quite different, again, uh, from a conventional design in the sense that we, first of all, it is passive design, but it is also similar in the sense of our isobaric drive unit. It's a push-pull formation. So uh, there is a central, central steel core, and then we have two magnets that are basically driving in a push-pull formation. So uh, you have a very light and stiff drive unit cone. This is the only cone that we use carbon fiber within because what you're trying to do is compress and move large amounts of air very, very quickly, uh, but you're not presenting uh, the mid-range frequencies, which your ear is especially sensitive to uh, any sibilant uh, sounds. Here you're trying to compress and move lots of air, so you want a very stiff drive unit cone. So by combining that with the push-pull formation on the magnets, you get very, very quick, very well integrated low frequency information. And that is a very hard thing to do because the mid-range drive unit is very, very quick, generally speaking, only having to move small amounts. Uh, we use these in this system simply because this is a no holds barred reference system. It's perhaps the ultimate of what you can achieve within loudspeaker and electronic design. Uh, within high fidelity music reproduction. Uh, so the speakers are designed to work full range, independent of the Taurus, but we, we bring this into the system because as I say, uh, it's a no holds barred <coughs> approach. Um, we, I think I'll finish there, but I'd like to thank all of our partners in the room. Uh, Ibex Audio, our importer in, uh, in, in Germany. Uh, also Masterbuilt, who have provided the cables. Uh, Etsuro Urushi, which is the cartridge on our turntable. And finally, uh, CH Precision and uh, Raphael, who you just uh, met perhaps on another video, and uh, Florian Cossi, who's the CEO of the, uh, of the company. Um, thank you. Cool. Terry. Nice stuff. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers.